Hello everyone and welcome to the fixture number tutorial. Naming the tubes is often difficult when it comes to bigger project because it is desired to name the fixtures by fixture number just as you have it in your lighting console. Up till now it has been possible to change the name of each fixture in the Astera app. It's just a very manual process, you have to do it one by one. So in case you want a specific fixture number for a specific gig, it will take a lot of time. Even these names we could change in the app on the individual fixtures could also be locked with the master pin. Just look at the fixture number as a secondary name which we can change even though we have locked a name into the fixtures. So once we set a fixture number on each individual fixtures it will actually pop up big so you also can see the number from a far distance. There are of course several ways to set this and we will of course walk through this now. Now since there are several ways to set a fixture number, the obvious is of course directly on the light here. We can of course do it with the display when we set a DMX address. Now first of all we can of course set the fixture number on the back side display. Just keep in mind before it displays itself big on the screen it needs to be in a DMX mode which we can set here either wired DMX or CRMX wireless DMX. Let's just put it on wired DMX go back right here and then we can go to set a DMX address. Press the enter, just set a DMX address, we can maybe say 10. Then we can push enter again and now it asks for the fixture number. Now in case you don't want to set a fixture number, we simply just press the enter button one more time. Then it will just go back to the main display and you have adjusted the DMX address. In case you want to set it, we can press the plus button. Now it starts on 300 and you can actually choose up to a four digit number, which is also after your own desire. Let's set this one here to 301 press enter and then we simply just go back to the main screen and then the letters will pop up big here in two seconds. Also something to keep in mind if you have locked the name into the fixture you can even though still use this fixture number to have it match your lighting console. As I said before this fixture number is working as a temporary name when we want the fixture number to match what's in our lighting console. So this will actually go back to the original name if you have locked the name into the fixture or maybe it's the standard one from factory. When we reset this light it will actually delete this temporary name once again. If you just turn off the light and then on again the temporary fixture number name will still be stored in the fixture. You have to physically reset the light before it goes back to this name. It is a good thing to know how to set this manually from the backside display because at some point you might need to swap a light, maybe it's empty of battery, then this is the way to set it when you replace it with a new one, just so you have the same fixture number as well. Now the second way we can set a fixture number on the lights is via the app. There are actually two ways, but we will start with the list of connected lights first. Now the first way to do it is through the list of connected lights which we see here in the app. We of course need to pair the lights to our app first. Now we can for instance mark our four tubes, then we can press the little pencil up in the right corner and then in the middle you will see fixture number assistant. When we press that one we can for instance say start name, should be 201 and then we can also choose increment. Now when we do this you will also see that it changes from what we see on the left side, the name now, to the fixture number, the temporary name on the right side. Just keep in mind when we do this, it's also in an alphabetic or a numeric order, which is also seen on the list of connected lights, which refers to the name we had in the light before. So if you don't really care about what kind of fixture gets what kind of number, you will also be able to see it on the screen and find them fast afterwards. Then we can press the OK button and then they will start to have these numbers. You will also see this one now changed to 201. Now the second way to do it through the list of connected lights, instead of pushing the pencil, we still keep the lights marked here. Then we can press the magic wand which is just on the left side of the pencil. Then we can go to the auto address press auto address, start address, let's just say number one. 
turn on fixture number and let's just say 250, then you will also see that from 201 changes to 250, then we can scroll down here as well. The next will be two from 202 and to 251, then we can press send. And then it will start to address these new fixture numbers as you see here on the display as well. Now, if we choose to prep the lights this way with the fixture number and we have everything set as we want to do, then up in the right corner is a sharing button so we can also share it with our operator, send it to him so he knows what and how to put it into his console to make it match the lights. So doing it through the list of connected lights here, of course it's fast, but it does it in the order of the fixture number, so it's quite random. In, of course, you can see the number big here on the screen when you do this. The auto address works great because you can also share your setup with your operator afterwards. Now, the last way to set a fixture number on your fixtures is done by the DMX configuration, which is also in the Astera app. This way is a very good way, especially if you have a lot of tubes before mounting them. So a pre-prep with the fixture numbers and using the DMX configuration. Let's jump into the app here again and to find the DMX configuration, we press the main menu, the three lines up in the right corner. Then we scroll down and find actions for all lights, open it and up on top you will see the DMX configuration. Again, this is a very fast way if you have all the lights aligned next to each other and especially fast when you have a lot of lights. Now, first of all, we need to choose our lamp type, which is the Titan tube, the FP1. Then we can of course choose a start address, let's just say number one and fixture number, maybe it starts at 301 instead of 300. Of course, we need to, need to choose the DMX profile, RGB, or we can choose it profile by number, which is actually a lot easier. So let's search for 42, choose that one, and then input select is wired DMX. Now, when we have all the settings done, we can press the send button and you will also realize that the lights here, they start to flicker. Once we have pressed the send button, we can turn the first light and simply just press the enter button to accept config. Now you will see it gets 301. What we do next is simply just in the app, press plus 48, which is up on the right side. Now it goes to 49, then we can turn the next one and say enter on this one, then it will also get the fixture number displayed here. And that's basically how you proceed through all the lights, plus enter plus enter. So guys, that was everything about fixture numbers on the Astera lights with the Astera app. Thank you for watching.